For those of us located in the coastal counties, windstorm and hail coverage on a new home or building is a toughie. The good news is the conditions are getting better. But still, the majority of us must rely on the Texas Windstorm Insurance Association. I'll refer to them as TWIA. The TWIA has gotten a bad rap when you consider that most of the claim occurrences, hurricanes, tornadoes, or hailstorms, generate a large number of claims and that it is much more difficult to service the claims as compared to a single claim occurrence like a one home fire. Our agency has several hundred TWIA claims due to Hurricane Ike. The TWIA did a good job on all but a few claims and the troubled claims were resolved. The problem is, is TWIA is quirky. They have odd underwriting guidelines and requirements. For instance, anytime you replace your outside AC unit, the AC unit needs to be inspected by a TWIA approved inspector to make sure the unit is properly anchored. The problem is finding an AC inspector and many of the AC contractors are not aware of the requirement. Just remember, if you do any repair or addition to the outside, you need to check to see if a windstorm inspection is required. There are some things that you should also know. First, be sure you buy the indirect loss endorsement. The endorsement is called Form 320. It provides for wind-driven rain coverage. Now, wind-driven rain damage occurs when there is no damage to the outside structure but the force of the wind pushes rain through window seals and etc., causing damage to the inside. During Hurricane Ike, I witnessed wind blowing rain through a solid wood door. There would be no coverage for the water damage inside if I did not have the Form 320. There is another endorsement that you might want to add. It is the Increased Cost in Construction Endorsement. Its form number is 431. This endorsement will pay you if the building codes have changed and the code changes generate an increase in the construction costs. Now you can purchase from 5% to 25% of your dwelling amount in 5% increments. If you have a carport or an older home, please consider this endorsement. It is kind of expensive but at loss time, you will be glad you have it. You also need to be aware that you will be having a deductible on your home and a deductible on your personal property. So when you choose your deductible amount, keep in mind that if you insure your home for $200,000 and your personal property for $120,000, then with a 2% deductible, your combined deductibles could be $6,400. Hey, if you have any questions about windstorm insurance or would like a quote, contact us at your convenience. Take care.